Recently in a few of our uh, videos, we've shown uh, our new rear disc brake conversion kits. Uh, we recently changed these over to use a different, more modern caliper. And what we thought we'd go through in this uh, video is, is to actually show you how simple it is to actually install one of these kits on a, a rear axle. So what we've got here is, is a uh, rear end uh, that we've had here using it for some R&D purposes. And we just thought we'd let the camera follow along and, and literally show you how simple it is to install uh, a Legend Series rear disc brake conversion kit on your uh, car or truck rear axle. To begin, remove the axle shaft and the stock backing plate from the rear axle housing. Knock the original studs out of the axle housing in preparation to install new bolts. With everything removed, install the new bolts through the axle flange. With the bolts in place, slide the spacer flange over the four bolt, thus allowing the space where the original backing plate to be taken up for installation of the bracket. Reinstall the axle shaft in the housing. Slide the primary caliper mounting bracket over top of the axle shaft and install on the four studs. Using the supplied hardware, tighten the nuts onto the studs and torque as necessary. Install the secondary caliper mounting bracket using the hardware provided along with the necessary bushings between the two brackets. Again, tighten and torque as necessary. Install the aluminum adapter flange, allowing the rotor to center over top of the axle flange properly, giving a true hub-centric fit. Follow this by the installation of the brake rotor and put a couple of nuts in place to hold the rotor solidly in place. Install the caliper mounting anchor bracket and tighten and torque as necessary. Follow that by the installation of the stainless steel abutment clips into the anchor bracket and slide the brake pads in place. Both the inner and the outer pad can be installed at this time. With the pads in place, slide the caliper over top, putting in one bolt and then compressing the springs by pushing down on the caliper to install the second bolt. And again, tighten and torque as necessary. From there, simply attach the park brake cable and the brake hose, and this installation is done. So hopefully this uh, video has uh, helped you in understanding uh, the simplicity of, uh, of this installation. Uh, of course, if you've got any questions, give our uh, sales and tech representatives a call or uh, look us up on the uh, website at mpbrakes.com and I'm sure that uh, there'll be some, even more information that will help you there.